Hello, book buddies. This is Miss Evelyn with another awesome story for us. Giraffes Can't Dance. The author is Giles Andre and the illustrator is Guy Parker Reese. This story is about Gerald. Gerald was a tall giraffe. He lived in Africa whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, all the animals sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clock. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and all alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald early on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music are the branches and the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail started swishing around. He threw his legs out sideways and swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his hand and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And that's the end of our story, Book Buddies. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time on Storytime with Miss Evelyn. And don't forget to click the like button. Bye-bye.